coach Nathan and honorary coach Nathan, three-time Olympian, is hanging out here uh, to talk about his favorite strength training for runners that he does. You know, you don't have to necessarily have a gym. Um, and what we want to try to do as runners, a lot of us get, um, you know, become quad dominant, meaning we get tired and you just kind of hunch over, quads take a lot of the brunt, but really as a runner, you want to make sure the backside mechanics of your body, your glutes, your hamstrings, lower back, you want to make sure that stuff's really kicking hard. And so you don't necessarily have to be at the gym. You could do this anywhere. You could, all you need is some steps, a chair, something like that. And a dream and a desire. Yeah. So we are going to get into it. Guys, thanks again to UCAN for bringing this video to you today and for Dathan. I mean, UCAN is Dathan's primary sponsor. You use this stuff all the time, right? Yeah, I get tired. I sit here on the step and I have my recovery fuel, <laughs> but it's great stuff. Love these bars, especially. It's my favorite. That's a favorite color. I used them too last year, North Face, genuinely, because we really like it and that's why we like working with these guys. They are going to hook you up with your own sample pack for five bucks and no shipping costs, you can get a pre and a post smoothie uh, little powder as well as Dathan's favorite bar in the mail. All you need to do is click that link down below. Let's get into some strength stuff, dude. Sounds good. So we know and love the importance of strength training for runners. It's not always just about the miles, but it's really about doing the work that can support the miles. And you're going after your fourth Olympic team, so you might know a little something about that. Yeah, I'm getting older, I'm getting older, you know, it's tougher. The more miles you got on the body, it's like a car, you know, it, it needs to be tuned up more often. You gotta pay attention, you gotta tighten some lug nuts here and there. And so, if you <laughs> don't do that, you know, then a wheel falls off. It'll, sure. That's no good, yeah. Um, so we're gonna, no wheels falling off, guys, come on. We don't want that to happen. But we're gonna get into some of your kind of favorite go-to strength exercises. Notice we're not in a gym. We both love and advocate for that, but we don't want that to stand in your way. So you're gonna show us one of your favorite exercises just to start with, which is a um, sitting good morning exercise. Yes. And all you need is like a bench or some stairs. Yeah, there you go. So look, right there, there's some stairs. Huh. Yeah. So. Funny coincidence, <laughs> who knew? So, you know, if anybody's done a good morning in, in the weight room, you know, it's it's a pretty standard motion, but we're gonna kind do of hinging over yes. at the hip, a lot of hamstring, a lot of glutes, stabilizing through yep. here. This is great though, because you can do, this is something I do as a staple if I am injured too, and I can't weight bear as much mm. because you're already sitted, sitting down. So if you say you have some injury, it's taking the load off, but we're really isolating your glutes really, really hard. And so it's a great way to build in that strength. So let's see it. All right, so we're gonna sit down on our little thing here. You could do this anywhere. You could do this, you know, if your boss lets you, you could do this in your chair at work cool. or uh, on the airplane, um, wherever you can be that weird guy, but we're gonna do it right here on the steps. So the biggest thing is, you're always gonna think about pushing your heels into the ground. Mm. Heels into the ground, heels on the ground. So just like if you're lifting, you know, like. And that's interesting, as soon as I start to do that, I'm just getting just that much it. posterior engagement yep. right there. So we're just starting to set the scene and activate. So just think, keep thinking, always, always pushing, 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 right? All right, so we're very upright. What we're gonna do is if you have a band, you can use this, this is what I do a lot, but I don't have a band. So right now, I'm just gonna take my arms and I'm gonna push. Yep. So like if I, so I'm gonna hold, Yes, yeah, so you're literally pushing your knees yep. out. Pushing down. And always really starting think, to further activate those yep. hips. So thinking pushing down through the heels and out against your hands, right? And so what you're going to do is that flat back, keeping that back flat, slowly coming forward. But actually think about like pushing your butt back. Yep. And we're going to come down to about there, like 45. And then back up nice and slow, maybe oh, five wow. count each, right? Interesting. So this is like kind of a slow tempo. Yes. Where you're kind and of we're creating nice some and, tension. And we're going to just keep going though. Oh man, maybe this is kind of sneaky hard. It is sneaky hard. And this makes you really sneaky sore the next day actually. But keep always thinking about pushing those heels into the ground. Heels into the ground, heels on the ground, pushing out. And so yeah, let's get a little side angle of this. Yeah. You want to have that, the thing is you want to have that nice flat back. Yep. So you don't want to bend and curl forward. Right, so I don't want to round yeah. through the back this way. I want to be kind Just, of hinging at the hip yep. as much as I can. And you get down to about 45, that's good enough. Yep. And then back up nice and slow yep. to neutral again. But what I like about this is that for certain people who might be really tight in the hamstrings, they're limited in how far they can hinge, but this kind of takes it out of the equation so I can, I can kind of move It super isolates this thing. that glute, you know? And so the nice thing too about this is, like I say, 
say you have a calf or an Achilles problem, or a lot of, you know, you can do this with almost anything probably except yeah. for, well, even if you have a strained glute, you can yeah. generally, that's a good, you know, that's time a to work through good it. time to work through it. And so this is a great, you know, like if you're sitting on the plane for like four hours, I'm that weird guy that's kind of like, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretending like I'm doing something else, you know, like I'm leaning to look, you what know, is, what's going what on. What is he doing? No, yeah. don't worry. He's yeah. just a pro runner. I'm actually that's really just activating said. those glutes really hard. So, <laughs> so how many sets, how many reps? Yeah. So uh, as you get strong, I'm telling you, they, they actually can really be sneaky sore. So um, I like to do it. I have my little band, but if you push yep. it out on your hands, it's just the same. I usually like to do like at most 10 uh, reps and maybe- Five seconds down, five, five seconds, seconds back up. up. Okay, that's yeah. one rep. You yeah, know? so that's like 50, wait, yeah. five seconds? About, you know, yeah. five, five, 10 seconds. So yeah, five yeah. seconds down, 10 seconds yeah. up. So that, the next I would get to is 10 because you're burning pretty hard yeah. by the end of it. So generally it's probably starting at about five is a lot better idea. Maybe three sets, um, and that might be a. You could probably do some other other exercise between yeah. each set. That's awesome. I love it. So you're gonna show us some of your other favorite ones that yep. uh, also made well the stairs. That's right. Let's do it. Exercise number two. What do you got for us, Nathan? Same stairs. Same thing. You can do this anywhere. You could do this uh, in your office, or you could do this in a hotel room. Uh, might not be able to do it on the plane. Probably not on the plane, but okay. we're gonna do it right out here uh, on the stairs. So. This is a hamstring bridge, but it's getting your glute hamstring really hard. Same thing, it's a, more of an isometric exercise, but it's as long as you hold it um, as well. So what we're gonna do, lay on your back, just like this. And, we'll, and I'm kind of going for something where like, it's not too low. Yeah, like, you how don't want to, I ideally going? this height would be good, but you know, this is a little bit in the way, but for me, I can do it. Interesting. All right, so. You got those long legs. That's right, you got those runner long legs. legs. All right, so for this one, we're gonna lay down, and we want to think about driving the heel into the stair. Yep. And we don't want to arch through or uh, stretch the back. What we want to do is what we're going to do is we're going to come up and think of squeezing that glute. Squeeze yep. that glute, squeeze that glute, and push that heel into the stair. Yep. Oh, damn. And we're going yeah. to hold, hold, hold for five seconds. Hold, 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 hold. Back down. One. No. <laughs> back down. Back up. You now know, this other leg is kind of up at a 90 degree angle. Yes, yeah, just like you purpose. would be running. Yeah. So we're trying to reinforce running. Uh, you know, your tallest posture of running. So that's two, Woo. coming down at five, go back up. Um, you know, and we're always pushing that heel into the ground and that's really gonna pop that glute and that hamstring. It's popping. Yeah, there you go. All right, we'll only do three. I don't want you to be too sore. <laughs> Even out the other side. So we're doing, yeah. There's there's no awkward, there's no graceful way to get out of that position. So we're doing um, a couple sets per side. Yeah. Probably trying to make sure like the hips are level. I imagine we don't want that hip to drop either. No. Yeah. You want to keep that. You want to keep engagement. You don't want to arch your back either. But you you know because if if you get too much low back, we already are getting a lot of tension through this. That's very levels. important actually to bring up because a lot of times when athletes don't aren't very good at recruiting their glutes and hamstrings they're trying to recruit anything in the area to make that movement happen. And a lot of times that's where that low back comes in from. So, you know, even thinking about kind of sticking your finger <laughs> like right in your butt, yes. just to, just to make that connection, yep. you know, can be helpful to, to get that up there. Absolutely. So how many sets, how many reps? So I would say you start very similar to the, to the other exercise we had to see the good mornings, probably sets of five to, or uh, five reps, maybe three sets to start. Um, as you get better, you can do more as well. But make sure you're doing both sides. We only showed one leg, yep. um, obviously, but um, I would do both I'm gonna sides. I'm going to walk around like this now, yes. you know, until I got to get yes. myself evened out. <laughs> awesome. Well, perfect. Well, we've got that in, and uh, we got another exercise up our sleeve for us, so right. stay tuned. All right, so exercise number three, we're going to start to be moving a little bit faster, yeah. bringing a little pop into the uh, equation. What do we got? Yeah, so the last two exercises, much more uh, isometric, slower, you know, really engaging a lot. This one, we're, we're talking to try, try to pop. We wanna, we wanna get ready. This is something you could even do right before a workout. Maybe you've warmed up, you've done some drills, maybe some strides. You do this right beforehand, it'll give you a little bit of snap. So, let's do it. Back to the stair. Back to the lovely stairs. All right, so this is called glute drives, all right? And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to put your heel right at the edge of the stair or whatever you have. It's a state. It's got to be a stationary object though, because we're actually putting a lot of force through this now. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you in the slow first is you're going to push and you're going to come up and you're really popping that glue. But you want now when we do it, we want to pop, pop, 
Interesting. Huh. So it's trying to be like like half a second or less. Yes, and you're blasting, you're pushing your heel into that into that stairs. There you go. And you'll feel it. You'll get better yep. each one you do. And then we'll go to the other side. Same thing. Get a few. Oh, that hurts my back a little bit. But. So the same thing. You're popping. You're trying to really push. And you might need to move your heel closer up A little bit time. closer yeah. up. There you go. And you can really feel it. Same thing as before, though. You don't want to You don't want to hit that back too yep. much. Yep. You want to yep. really feel it in that glute. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Keeping this down. Yep. Interesting. So being really purposeful about the tempo of things can really change what we're doing. If we're doing that like slower, three to five seconds up and down versus this is like half a second or less. Yeah, they, they serve different purposes, but it's still, you, you know, that's really working that posterior side of the chain because like I said before, as runners, we do a lot of mileage, you get tired, you punch forward, the quads start taking the brunt of it. You want to engage those muscles in your butt, your hamstrings and keep that stuff really firing to keep you healthy, to build strength, and then to improve the performance too. I love that. Well, Nathan, thanks for showing us those uh, those little workout tips there. Awesome. And just kind of walking back to the car. Show me doing the work, putting this thing away. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's like it's another like, day in the office. I was gonna say, it's like Us Weekly, you know? It's like celebrities drink coffee too. Yeah. Elite runners, <laughs> elite runners put away yeah. tripods oh, too. They're just man. like the rest of us. Oh. <laughs> The workout may be over, but that doesn't mean your job is done because you need to feel yourself up so you can go hit it again. Uh, Nathan, what do you like in this little get back in here? You can only recover, you can only work out as fast as you can recover, but uh, I love these little bars any time of the day. So I, uh, I can even eat those. As, uh, you can as, even eat those now. So yeah. again, thank you so much to You Can for bringing this video, making it happen, bringing Nathan in. They want to hook you up, remember, five bucks you get your own sample pack just click that link down below and of course if you like this video what should they do if they like this video well they just like it or they could comment below uh well uh, i have my you can email address uh, somewhere out there <laughs> i will email you back or you you know i'll, I'll write you back a comment on that uh, as well he'll, he'll bring you in give you out because we're just really starting the conversation here guys and of course subscribe to the channel because we got more great stuff coming at you each and every week, including more videos with Dathan. How about that? So hit that subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one.